Hello there, my beautiful Cancer friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Cancer, Spirit has some important messages that they want to share with you, and I'm going to pull some cards to see what it is that they would like you to know today. So what I'm going to do for you is pull a manifestation oracle card by Rhonda Byrne. Okay, she's the one that made the book The Secret. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the Wisdom of Hafiz oracle deck. I'm going to then pull three personal messages for you. This is where I ask you to pause the video, take a deep breath, connect to spirit and then come back to receive these messages. I'm also going to close off with an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Cancer, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like to share with you today. So we are getting focus on the solution. Look at that, focus on the solution. Cancer, the message here is, when you resist a situation that has manifested, you add more energy and power to it. The event or circumstance can only get bigger because that is the law of the universe. To shrink an unwanted situation, put your energy and power into thoughts of what you want. So once again, when you resist a situation that has manifested, you add more energy and power to it. The event or circumstances, circumstance can only get bigger because that is the law of the universe. To shrink an unwanted situation, put your energy and power into thoughts of what you want. Okay, so that is your opening message. That's a very powerful message. So those of you that are um, wanting to change something that you're experiencing right now, this is your solution here, okay? So let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. So 10 of Pentacles, look at that. They're wanting you to focus on the grounded stability, security energy here. This is your happy place. This is where your dreams, your desires have already manifested. And what Spirit is saying is you're already in this energy right now, Cancer. Okay, there's abundance and prosperity already in your life. All you have to do is tune into that frequency. So that's the Ten of Pentacles for you today. Temperance, balance. Okay, so perhaps some of you are feeling like things are a little bit off balance. Maybe you're going through some sort of a challenge, a hard time. This is where balancing, cultivating some sort of um, quiet energy within yourself rather than reacting to situations and instead allowing spirit to communicate and bring you guidance and navigation. This is where you open yourself up. So this is what spirit is asking of you right now. So the temperance card, now this is a major arcana card. So this energy is going to be prominent. However, it's in the background. So some of you are going to feel this intensely. Others you are going to feel this subtly. So the temperance, and we have the page of swords. Look at this. I love this card because it's letting me know that you're on a journey and there is a new frequency, new energy that you're about to tune into, which is in alignment with the Ten of Pentacles, your desires and your dreams, everyone. What a beautiful thing to see here in your spread today. Now, I want you to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So this is the beginning of something. This is what the page, like I feel like whenever I receive the page cards, it's almost like a training field, but also the beginning of some sort of development of a gift, development of some sort of a habit, um, some sort of an energy alignment, okay? 
So before I begin here, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon rising and Venus signs. All right. So what is happening in your life right now, Cancer? What is going on? Where do you feel in your life you are struggling or going through some sort of an obstacle or challenge? Some of you might not even be going through any of that, right? Maybe you're living in this energy of abundance and prosperity already. That's what you're meant to do is live in this energy. This is what spirit wants you to do is connect with this at this time in this moment. So this is where we allow ourselves to release and let go of any kind of worries or thoughts that are sitting in our minds that are creating emotions of anxiety, stress, worry, whatever this is, it's time to release and let it go. Okay. Because we're balancing things out. We're trying to ground our energy in order to receive this energy of abundance and actually feel it and experience it. Right. And what spirit wants you to do here, those of you that aren't experiencing this abundance or prosperity, happiness, joy, excitement, is to open yourself up to it, to look through that lens of abundance, of growth, of happiness, positivity, right? Allow yourself to experience that. Sometimes I feel we close ourselves off to this. And the only reason why I feel that we do that sometimes is just from my own experiences. We're so used to the kind of emotions, the feelings, the way that our body temple interacts with our outer experience, especially um, if we've been in a life where it, it's always been struggles, right? For some of us, we've gone through a lot of struggles and we don't know what abundance looks like. We don't know what it feels like. So spirit wants you to uh, visualize, visualize it. Visualization, imagination is so, so important. And it's coming through the swords here. The swords energy is it has to do with your mental plane. It has to do with the connection that you have to spirit as well. There's an opening and awakening that is happening here through this card. And this is what it's opening up to is this beautiful energy of the 10 of pentacles. It's very grounded. This is, um, you feeling the actual abundance in your material world in the actual experience you're experiencing here on earth with the interactions that you have with people, the things that you go through, the situations that you move through, right? So spirit is wanting you to look through the lens of love, look through the lens of abundance, look through the lens of growth. Okay. And there's something else that is wanting to come through this as well. I've been getting this for a lot of the signs and I feel spiritual gifts are in development. There is this um, energy that is dissolving, but there's another one that is forming. And I feel for some of you, this is gifts. This could be heightened senses. Some of you tuning into spirit, being able to see things further out, getting a clear, broader picture of things, understanding and knowing. And there is this already connection to abundance. But I feel that um, Maybe something's off balance internally with you where you're finding it difficult to connect with this energy. So what I'm getting here is this swaying back and forth and what spirit wants you to do. Like it feels good when you're swaying back and forth like this, but it's almost like you're moving from dark to light to dark to light. I don't know how this is showing up in your life, but it feels like that one moment, something good happens and the next day it doesn't. Right. And it's kind of a roller coaster ride for some of us out there. And spirit wants you to hold on to the positive, abundant energies that you're feeling through the light. So we want to basically balance the light and the dark so they work together. This is what spirit is wanting you to do. This is what they want you to balance in your life. So know that there's abundance already surrounding you. You are truly blessed here, Cancer. You're meant to experience the blessings in your life. Okay. So if we're feeling like things are a little bit unstable, we're kind of rocking back and forth from one energy to another. Um, this is where they want you to become aware of it. Understand, okay, this is the area in my life where I'm feeling a little bit off balance. Let's try to work in some way here, some sort of a technique. You're wanting to be resourceful here, Cancer, and find something that works, that tunes, your tunes you back in balance. Okay, so I like to breathe 
Anytime I have a reaction and I'm feeling a little bit unstable emotionally, especially if something's triggering me or something someone's wanting a reaction, if I find myself bubbling over with emotions because of the thoughts and things that I'm experiencing that might not even be true, but in the moment, it's, you know, we get worked up, right? So I breathe through this energy. And I actually watched this on uh, online a little while ago and I've actually implemented it and it actually works for me. So I want you to try this is breathe, take deep breaths and count to 90 when you're feeling worked up or you're feeling like you've got anxiety kicking in or stress or worry, breathe through it, calm your mind because this is how you connect to spirit. You clear that energy, clear whatever it is and Whenever I'm clearing, I have to actually feel the emotion. So allow yourself to feel the emotions that are coming in, but don't hold on to them. Let them just pass. And 90 seconds is probably a really good time for them to pass. And then you're able to think and make decisions clearly. So I feel this is an area somewhere in your life. Now, this could be in a relationship. This could be something happening for you at work, maybe just with a friend or somewhere in a situation in your life. Those of you that are especially feeling this, maybe this is like your entire life that's been feeling this way for a little while. So what Spirit is asking here is to implement some sort of practice in your life, one that works for you. We are all different. What works for me might not work for you, right? So you want to explore and see what things work for you. And once you find something, implement that and use that as a daily practice, a ritual, okay? And this will help you uh, move and progress forward and have a vision in mind. When you clear some of those thoughts, this is when you're by yourself at home before you go to bed, right? This is not in the heat of the moment when a situation happens. This is more so... When you're going to bed, everything's calm already. Clear that mind and visualize, imagine this 10 of pentacles place. Maybe there's somebody in your life or someone that you've seen online that lives a life that you desire. Imagine how they feel with all of that, right? Sometimes if we can't imagine it, imagine someone else and see how that, you know, put yourself in their shoes and walk that walk and just see, right? Um, this is where I, I feel there's some sort of a door opening for you here. There's some sort of a new energy, which is showing up here through, through the page of swords, right? It's almost like clarity has sunk in and it has sliced right through that wall. There's a barrier there. You slice through it and you're now able to walk through it. And there's a completely different energetic vibe here. And perhaps for some of you, you have never experienced this vibe before. Maybe it's scary. Maybe it's new. You're like, I don't know what this is. What do I do with it? This is where your page of swords energy is coming through. So this is where we are curious. We explore it a little bit, dabble in it and see kind of what's there, right? And what I mean by this is if we start to experience happiness, let's not throw a wedge in there. A lot of times we sabotage this, right? Some of us do, not everyone does. But sometimes we have a tendency to sabotage it because it now happens and it's like, how is that even true? How is that even happening? There's no way. So I'm going to do something or it's like a natural habit or this thing that we have and without even knowing it, sometimes kind of ruining the moment or having some sort of a doubt or seed of something that wants to create a wedge. So release that when you're feeling that release that energy and allow yourself to explore this abundance, explore, explore this happiness without any kind of judgments to it, without any kind of like, this isn't going to last. I know it's not. This is like a one-off thing. No, it's not. It's not a one-off thing. You are actually worthy of this. This is what you deserve. This is the energy that wants to be in your life, right? So this is what Spirit is saying here. Allow yourself to experience the happiness and joy life has to offer in any situation without creating something that is going to mess it up. Now for others, there's gifts that are developing and this is a part of your journey that is leading you towards the 10 of pentacles. And those of you that are living this life, right? It's absolutely beautiful. There's a spiritual journey within this, right? We all know that. And uh, for some of you, you're taking on any kind of situations in your life with grace, with calm. And you're seeing how this works and you've been practicing because practice is coming through the page of swords as well. You've been practicing living in this energy, implementing, 
practices that keep you aligned and balanced. And this is a confirmation from the universe that you're exactly where you need to be in your journey, no matter where you are in your life. Okay, and those of you, deja vu has been coming up quite a bit. So if you're experiencing deja vu, this is uh, your higher self confirming to you you're exactly where you need to be in the moment you're having that deja vu experience. Okay, so you already walked this path. You're exactly where you're meant to go. You're going through the experience that you're meant to go through because you're learning and growing from that experience. You're, you're moving through a training field and it feels like an obstacle course and it's strengthening you. It's like going to the gym and working out and getting into that physique. It's like that kind of, right? That's what spirit is showing me. And perhaps some of you have picked up a gym routine. Maybe you're starting to work on your wellness, your health, and that in itself is a journey, right? So I don't know if any of you have started fitness pages on a social media platform, um, but I'm seeing a lot of really good results here. I'm seeing a lot of uh, success with it. I'm seeing a lot of abundance there. So this is also uh, a solopreneurship. So what I'm getting here is some of you have a really big dream and you're now on that journey of fulfilling that dream and spirit is letting you know if you keep things balanced, right? Don't overwork yourself. There's no need to rush to get to anything. Keep yourself in balance and you're going to see the journey itself is going to bring you to this place of abundance. So there's a promise here for you, Cancer, that whatever it is that you're working on, if you're putting that loving energy in, you're creating balance in your life in all areas, all aspects, having a sturdy foundation within yourself, right? And how you show up in the world with that energy, that is what, that is, what is going to create this abundance in your life. So if you've been dreaming or desiring a home, desiring a car, desiring finances, a career, a love, all of this resides here in the Ten of Pentacles. So know that you are right now a very powerful manifester. You're manifesting something in your life and they want you to focus on a solution rather than um, resist it almost or try to go around it. They're wanting you to focus on a solution which is coming through here by that exploration, right? I'm getting a big wall up. I don't know where this wall is coming up from, but Spirit is saying if you're feeling like there's some sort of a wall or a block in your life, we have to figure out how to get over it or under it or around it or break straight through it. But you have the power to let release yourself from any of those blocks, okay? So they're wanting you to focus on the solution. So think outside the box here. This is your mental plane, your mental scape here. So use your imagination. Let's think here, put our minds together. They're showing collaborations, talking to others, conversing and asking for help, especially if you need it. Okay, sometimes two minds are better than one, right? So this is again where you're really looking at how to find a solution, not being afraid of it, right? So, um, I feel sometimes a lot of challenges are sometimes us just problem solving our ways through life. And there is a, a problem that some of you are solving, right? And this is what we're here to do is solve problems. So whatever situation you're moving through, let's focus on the solution and try to figure our way through whatever that is. Okay. So this is what spirit is asking you. And whatever it is that you're desiring, this is you tuned in and tapped in to this higher path, this higher purpose. And I feel destiny, you're going to feel the energy of destiny because some of you are seeing signs around you. And the other thing about signs is if you're seeing the number 14 uh, or the number 10, so 14s or 10s, this is confirmation that there's a message here in this reading for you today, but also 1410. If you're seeing these numbers in the sequence, again, confirmations are coming in that spirit is trying to communicate with you. Okay. So, um, abundance is all around you. They want you to have a clear vision as well. Have a clear vision around what it is that you're wanting to experience in your life and focus on that. Okay. And that's what's coming in. That's already around you. All right. Lots of abundance, a lot of love, excitement, and joy. So what I'm going to do now is pull a bonus card from the Wisdom of Hafiz Oracle, and I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. So let's see what more spirit wants to share with you here. All right. So we are getting protect your boundaries. Look at that. Protect your boundaries. I don't know if any of you are seeing uh, a stag, a deer in your life with antlers. Perhaps some of you have uh, something that looks like this, like a wall hanging, a mount 
with a, a stag head. Maybe you're seeing this. So the number two is on this card. There's an alignment. There's a, again, number two is balance as well. So some of you might be seeing the number twos. This is where Spirit is saying you're in alignment with something balanced, whatever feels unstable right now. Okay, so those of you looking for timing, two days, two weeks, two hours around the message of this card. So we are getting here. What bird does not protect their wings knowing the beautiful, vital taste of freedom? Your boundaries are part of life's birthright, but they must be carefully cultivated and consciously guarded. Just as an ungated garden is open to predators, so too is our energy when it lacks a strong container. Be watchful here, Cancer. Be generous with your energy, but equally generous to your own life force. Okay? So that is a powerful message for you today. Now, I'm going to pull three personal messages. So this is where I ask you to pause the video, take a deep breath, connect to spirit, and then come back and receive these messages. All right, so we are getting for you today. Embrace your alone time. Spirit is asking that you embrace your alone time. Learn to love your own company, Cancer, instead of expecting someone else to make you happy. So once again, learn to love your own company instead of expecting someone else to make you happy. All right, so that's your first message. Next, the call of the void. Some of you might have candles lit in your home. Perhaps you're seeing some roses. Right? Confirmations here. There's a candle in your heart ready to be rekindled. All you have to do is acknowledge the void so you can heal properly. So once again, there's a candle in your heart ready to be rekindled. All you have to do is acknowledge the void so you can heal properly. Look at that. So your third message today is you're destined for greatness here, Cancer. You, my friends, are destined for greatness. It's in your DNA. It's it, it is your destiny to be great because it's coded in your DNA. Time to meet your greater self. So once again, it is your destiny to be great. It's coded in your DNA. Time to meet your greatest self. Look at that. I love that message for you today. So I'm going to now pull an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you... 5858, Spirit is letting you know that you're on the right path. No matter where you are right now, you're on the right path. So if you're seeing the number 5858 in this sequence, this is a confirmation here of the message on this card. So sometimes we can see these numbers on a phone number, uh, on a receipt, on a home address, even on a license plate anywhere, okay? So this is your true destiny. You're walking the path of your destiny, Cancer. Strength prayer, courage is all coming in. Spirit wants you to have strength. Use prayer, okay? Have some sort of a prayer in your life. They want you to have courage, determinations, because miracles are going to happen in your life. There are miracles coming in for you, okay? All right, so before I forget, I just wanted to mention that our magic intention candles are back. They were sold out for a little while. My sister-in-law, Katomi, actually makes these from home. The link for these are in the description box below, so grab them while they're in stock. These are perfect for manifestations, full moon rituals, new moon rituals, or anytime you're wanting to set an intention. They've got a stone that come with the candle here, so once again, grab them while they're still available in the description box below. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.